It's crazy for Scotland. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another vlog. It is Wednesday morning and hey, it's not Thursday. I broke the spell, maybe. <laughs> so far this week, I have not read anything. I want to start Kingdom of Souls because um, I, I want to not like not be stressed <laughs> about the fact that I'm not ready yet. So I'm going to start this and I really wanted to just read it physically but I might look into um, if an audiobook is available. I'll check my library. I doubt it's gonna be there. They don't really have a lot of here. Um, then I'm going to check script and if not I'll check um, audible um, and see if I can do that. I mean I don't know. might not get the dizziness today. I haven't yet so you know but it's early. It's usually like in the afternoon. Um, so that's that and I, I would like to read um, a comic book this week as well. So this, I'm reading another book on the side, I'm still... <laughs> how, how, how tired are you guys of hearing me saying that I am reading still another book? Hello, Zulf. Um, another thing today though, I don't really, I've not been really playing Animal Crossing, but I sometimes log in to check if anyone has a bubble and uh, Clyde is leaving our ranks. I actually love Clyde, on popular opinion, maybe. Um, he's such a like innocent child, but he said he really wants to see the world and travel. And I was like, you know what? I feel that's okay. Um, we're still looking for Eric. I have a plethora of tickets still to use. Um, so I'm going to uh, hop on a couple of islands just now and then I'm going to work and then I'm going to maybe during the lunch break as well. I don't know. If I find someone else, like uh, Shep, I might take Shep. And if I find someone else that I wasn't expecting, like Philbert last time, um, that I fall in love with, I'll take them too. But the goal is Eric. <laughs> I've spent 200 tickets, literally evenly 200. The 200th one was Philbert last time. So in 200 tickets looking for Eric um, and didn't get it. If I don't manage to find anyone but still have tickets, I will time travel to the beginning of the day and then try back travel to the time travel to the beginning of the day again um, in the morning tomorrow so I actually get to continue the thing. I used to not time travel at all but now that I stopped playing as much, I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm sure I'll get back to it again. Uh, there's still so much work to be done on my island. It's like there are some areas that are pretty nice and then some areas that is just literally a field with a lot of flowers that need to be bent. <laughs> and also I have shit laying around everywhere. Anyway, and I can take you with me but yeah, I'm going... I, because I stopped kind of playing, I was like, well, it doesn't matter now if I <laughs> time travel or not, because if it makes me want to play more, then why not? You know, I'm always just like, play however you like. Okay, so what if I just take you here? I wish this chat was slow, uh, faster, because after you do a lot, this is so painful. <laughs> I need to find my Eric boy and take him home. Imagine if the first one that I land to is actually Eric and you witness it. I'll screech. Oh my god, we had such an amazing storm yesterday. I hope I managed to film a little bit of it. It was lightning after lightning. Oh my god, I miss storm so much. Um, it was like a song to my people and a song to my soul. Oh my god, it was amazing. I wish more of those. <laughs> Who is it? Oh my god, it's Judy! Oh no! Judy is so coveted. I'm sorry. I really want Eric. <laughs> I might regret this. That would be a no. Oh no. <laughs> I really don't like ant eaters. I mean, this one's not even the worst. That's a cute shirt. No. I've never had that one before though. You, sir, look very fancy though. That's a no. Another unpopular penny, I actually do like the chickens, but I already have Ken, so <laughs> still a no. She's very cute. Not today. Oh, it's a monkey. Uh, no. Oh, so sheep. Very cute sweater. Very dad vibes. Did I already have him? No. Why? 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 Oh. I know he's popular, but I've never been into octopi either. And the fact that it's supposed to be a snack, so he's like half cooked, just kind of creeps me out. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, it's a dog. Hello, dog. Oh, it's kind of cute. He's cranky, though. <sighs> oh, no. Okay, but no. I get him constantly. Mint is cute. What she said? Don't be sad. Oh god, that's ter that is terrifying. Go go back to sad. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute though. Oh, little piggy. Hi, angry boy. It's a new. We move on. Have a happy life, my boy. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. Mm, I just don't like these. <sighs> no. We got a frogo. <sighs> nope. So, no. Oh, that one's cute. I don't really usually like the balls, but that one's cute. I'm really into the blue villagers, apparently. <laughs> oh my god, why? She's alright. She's cute. Oh, I love Poppy. I'm not gonna be taking her just for now. Maybe at some point in the future. I stopped filming all of the stuff, but oh my god, I came across Dottie and I love her. I really want to take her, but at the same time, I'm like, ah, oh, I should continue. But oh, so cute. I have to think about this. Hello, look at my shirt. Oh, I love it. It's Thursday, my dudes. I've actually just started reading The Kingdom of Souls, and by that I mean literally just. I have read a whole total of 12 pages. So, but I'm pausing that because Logan, the super helpful thing that he is, <laughs> um, has managed to get to the PO box and actually bring the stuff that's been there for probably forever. Oh, that's just from the pharmacy. I thought, oh my god, who sent me this? Why do you know me so well? <laughs> also, my hair is still wet from the shower, so um, don't mind this. There are some parcels. I'm still kind of like not going out much, so I asked Logan to get there if he can, so he Ubered there. <laughs> um, so if you see my address, it's my PO box, so don't worry about it, but I am going to obviously cover the people's address so we have this little envelope uh, which is gonna be a card i'm pretty sure well this one is from april 23rd because it was even written there this is from emily a super cute card um from toronto hello toronto thank you so much emily um sorry you found me through the magical readathons at the time where they basically ended a couple months after that so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm hoping, you know, to make another one. Remake it. And I hope that that one's gonna be just as nice for you. But thank you so much for sending the card. Um, and I really hope you're well. Um, loss has happened since since April. This is from Bobby. Oh, I need to email her because she was worried. Oh, thank you. So Bobby says that she has been fangirling over Jessie's from both eyes and books TBR game. So she made her own. Um, so we have like an actual deck of cards. That's so cool. I've actually been toying of making my own TBR game for a very long time and so long that I actually I actually had all of the stuff already bought for the board game that I had in mind. It was supposed to be based on a chocolate frog and obviously after everything that has changed and now I need to work a lot on recreating the whole the whole ass readathon with like creating a whole ass world so I don't know if I will have time for that but I do want to make one uh, that's more of a board game um, at some point, perhaps, mayhaps, I don't know. But look, it's like an actual deck of cards with like prompts. Paginator's deck of TBR, um, which is again inspired by Jesse's TBR um, deck. That's really cool. If I'm ever stuck and I really just need a prompt, I'll definitely... Oh, there's a... There's one that's yellow. Read a book with a yellow on the cover. Um, I'll definitely take one out. That is so sweet. Also, that's so cool. You made your own cards. That's really cool. I have not been to Falkirk, but I actually might go there at some point for a particular project in the future. Thank you so much. That's really sweet and it's really unique. Next up, we have what looks like an Amazon parcel. 
Hello. Oh, this is actually off my wish list. I actually, <laughs> I don't particularly keep up with that, but I do have an Amazon wish list, and because uh, I was bullied into it, um, and I got this which is by Seanan McGuire, it's middle game. Uh, I want to give the author another chance and I just literally, this is so funny because I uploaded my haul today and, oh, who sent this to me actually? Wait, <laughs> is there a note? Oh no. Oh, I want to thank you. Oh no, if someone, whoever sent this to me, let me know so I can like, thank you by name at least. <laughs> but thank you so much. You, you know, you, no one has to, like, it's very, very kind of you. Um, apparently, Into the Tronic Deep is also written by the same author because she uses different names. Um, and I didn't know that, so apparently I have two books now to try, but I really, really didn't like the Every Heart and Doorway. However, I've heard that these are very different and a lot of people who didn't like that, like this. Um, and into the drowning deep. So I'm actually very excited, tentatively, but thank you so much for sending this my way. Um, this one is about, I think, two siblings and they have like, ex yeah, twins. Meet Roger. Skilled with words, language comes easily to him. He instinctively understands how the world works through the power of story. Meet Dodger. His twin numbers are her world, her obsession, her everything. All she understands, she does so through the power of math. Roger and Dodger aren't exactly human, though they don't realize it. They aren't exactly gods either. Not entirely, not yet. Interesting. Very interesting. And thank you so much. Oh, this is from Nicole. Hi, G. Hi, Nicole. Uh, oh, it's Maria. Why does it say Nicole? Sorry, this is from Maria. <laughs> Recently found this artist and I am in love with their art style and design. Looking through their shop, I saw these stickers and I immediately thought of you. Oh, this is gonna be Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I really did not open these in time, but these are beautiful. So first of all, there's actually like a little um, lemonade sticker, which is very, very cute. But then we have all of these Harry Potter ones that are really beautiful. Oh, oh, yay, yay. Oh, that makes me so excited. Um, I'm such a child, honestly. Oh, I love, I love the witchy ones. Oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. Oh, Nicole is the shop. Nicole is the shop. That's why I thought that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Maria. This is from a shop called Cookie and Rookie, and this is from Kat, half, one half of Cookie and Rookie. <laughs> Hi, Kat. She wanted to send me this notebook, so I might really like the aesthetic. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Kat. Have you heard of the board game Munchkin? It's like D&D light, and I'm obsessed. Oh, I haven't. I have not, but I do like D&D, so we'll definitely check that out. Oh, okay, well, first of all, the wrapping is so amazing. I think I've actually seen the shop before. They, ha they do the Christmas sweaters. That's their information. Definitely check them out. Oh, I love it. Oh, it reminds me a tiny bit of my, because it's foil, it reminds me a tiny bit of our, me and Logan's, like, print that we did. That is stunning. Thank you so much. And obviously, this is the magical castle. Uh, and even though, obviously, I'm moving my channel away from Harry Potter, um, doesn't mean that I still don't want to support the creative people in the fandom. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. It's so, so kind of you to send this as well. So sorry it's so late. I'm not sure when this was sent. This was also in April. Sorry. <laughs> So this is from Sarah. Thank you for your note, Sarah. And they sent me a uh, the Your God, the Your God Wakes poetry book. Me and poetry don't really get along, but I really appreciate the gesture. I don't know if it's theirs. Um, I'm not quite sure. You know, it's super tiny, so I might give it a go. <laughs> but most of all, I just appreciate the gesture and thank you so very much. The last thing that we got here. Oh, nice! Uh, this one is also from my wish list, and I have a note. Oh, maybe it's the same person as before. Uh, Christy! <laughs> Thank you, G, and I hope you are doing well. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing better now. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, and it's this one. It's called Magic... Uh, the Magic Order. I think that's how you read it. Um, and I just... I don't actually know much about but the art style is really beautiful and it's actually done by Netflix and just it just has a very spooky misfits vibe and this Maleficent 
chick on the back looking. Um, there's a reason you've never seen a ghost. By day, these people live along us as our friends, neighbors, and co-workers. By night, they are sorcerers, magicians, and wizards that protect us from the forces of darkness. Very excited to read it. Thank you so much. Also, double thank you if this was also you, because I know sometimes you don't ship together. So, thank you. And if not, then someone tell me who sent this to me. Thank you guys so, so very much. I don't know what to do now. I might read a little bit more because I've, I've set myself a very um, ambitious goal. I'd like to finish this by this week and it's Thursday and like I know I technically started the vlog yesterday but really, really it's a Thursday start, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It's just, it's always a Thursday start. But so I separated this book in four chunks for, you know, each day of the week that we have left. And I've also found that there is an audiobook on script, which is great. So I don't have to pay for it. And because uh, I wouldn't justify buying this and also paying, you know. Um, so I might actually put this on while I still continue to hunt for Eric. I've seen so many weird villagers and still no Eric. And at this point, this is my second big hunt while I'm using time travel because I obviously can't just sit and like do it. But I was listening to a lot of Brandon Sanderson videos yesterday, like all his talks about writing and stuff. And um, I was just like blindly going through the islands and I've already used over a hundred tickets, I'm sure. And still no Eric, so... But I am determined to at least try a bit more. So I might put an audiobook on and crack on with this. Um, normally I would like to read a bit more before I switch into the audiobook, especially because I think this one's gonna have uh, an accent. And uh, while it is beautifully done, um foreign <laughs> like English is not my first language so sometimes when there are accents that I'm not used to hearing it's hard for me to comprehend uh, or it's harder for me to comprehend I think that might be the plan and just let this dry and deal with it later No. No. Why do I keep getting all the koalas? No. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did I just have her? Is that... Oh, it's kind of cute, but <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Why? Why? I've been getting so many of them. No. She's decided that I cannot film this. <laughs> He's right though, he is more important. You're so cute. I'm gonna roll over. Oh, we don't need to see that. Hey, I'm on my lunch break and I actually have, after yesterday, five, five tickets left out of 300, I don't know, over 300. Five tickets left. Sorry this vlog is like just me on a hunt for the villager, but it's ridiculous. It's the second time I go on a massive hunt um, for the villager and like how unlucky. <laughs> um, technically I could still get I think 12 tickets uh, if I exchange my Nook Miles. I'd rather not, so let's say five, but if we completely fail, like, it's fine, I can still have 12, but after that, that's it. That's it. So I thought I'll bring you along <laughs> to the journey of the last five. Oh, damn it, I saw someone brown and I thought it was finally it, but it's not. Ugh. No. Oh, no. No! I got rid of her, she was one of my starter ones. Oh, no. Right, well, I guess I'm spending all of my things um so 12 more tickets i cannot believe i actually ran out but i also kind of want this to be over <laughs> um so let's get that done almost six o'clock and for sure last 12 <laughs> 
tickets. Okay, number 12. Who is it? Where is it? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I had him before. I do like him. She cute, but I don't... I didn't want a wolf. <laughs> but I might not get better. Should we risk it for the biscuit? Let's be real, I didn't get the biscuit and 300 tickets. I will not get the biscuit now <laughs> with 10. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> I will probably regret this. Oh... No, I don't want to. Seven, and I, by that I mean we still have seven tickets left after this, but we'll call it seven. It's funny, because the one that left was also a horse. All right, six. <laughs> no! Five. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Three days of this. Five tickets left. I did not think this would happen. I literally did not even know if Eric actually existed in the game at this point. I... Oh my god. I'm so happy I didn't take the wolf. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got way too excited. Way too excited. I'm gonna go get him before he escapes. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is... What's today? Today is a Saturday. Saturday? Oh, we've been here before. It's Saturday all day. It's a Saturday all day. I completely forgot to tell you about my reading that I've done. Because, oh, you know, this is the reading vlog, or it pretends to be. Yeah. I've been reading two things, but one is the Room for my project. Um, but I also have read 70 pages of uh, Kingdom of Souls. So far, the story is, without spoilers, obviously, not that I could spoil you for like the first 75 pages, um, the story is, so this is African ins uh, inspired, and there are witch doctors, or at least in the family of the main girl that we follow, she is born into a witch doctor family, and her whole line is extremely powerful. However, she doesn't seem to come into her powers, and the family is doing everything they can to make sure that she does, but it doesn't seem like it's likely to happen anymore. Um, we have a very nice relationship with the father, however, a very strained and, you know, disappointment-filled relationship with the mother, who is a politician, the father is a healer. So after she's trying to get into her powers a little bit guided by her grandmother who goes like above and beyond actually angering some other tribes by preferential treatment of her um, granddaughter during one of these rituals, um, the... what was the sentence going? Oh god. Oh yes, they see a weird shadow around her, or the grandmother does. The grandmother and... The father are really concerned because it looks like it could be a demon who are supposedly, you know, like just a children's story and they've not been seen in a while and for some reason it seems like it's latched onto her. Um, or at least it was around her. And after... So that's kind of where I am at. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be... She's gonna get stuck into some sort of plot here. Um, I don't know if she's gonna get her powers or if this is gonna be one of those where you don't. I'm fine either way, to be honest. I am... Um, I'm quite enjoying it so far. It was really easy to get into, which is nice because I feel like recently I've been reading books that take me a good while to get into. Um, so that was quite nice and refreshing. I'm excited to read a little bit more, which is what I'm gonna do soon. I'm just putting some makeup on. I'm going tidy a little bit. My arm is killing me today. I had some physiotherapy yesterday, but it just feels worse because <laughs> I think I moved a little bit too much. Um, anyway, and so I'm just putting a little bit of makeup on because I'm meeting some girls outside in the park while socially distancing because <laughs> a couple uh, drove here from Glasgow to have a day, I guess. <laughs> They're climbing out of their seat, which I am not gonna do, but they are, so I'm just going to pop out and meet them for a little bit. So I'm taking that as an opportunity to actually put my face on, which I now do once a week. Have you noticed? In my vlogs, literally, I'll put on makeup once a week. What a time to be alive. You know what? I'm not mad at that. I'm 
no matter that who has the energy um i do feel good when i put it on but then <laughs> effort but also uh to make myself you know make sure that i read uh i do these live readings on patreon where um we sit and we talk about what we're gonna read and then I we read together <laughs> on live stream. So that's what I'm gonna do in 25 minutes and Logan's gonna join me. I think he's just gonna continue drawing I reckon. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be reading and we're gonna put Mirkwood ASMR I think this time. We're going to Mirkwood ambiance that we put on uh, which took me a little while to work out how to make not uh, to make sure that the thing doesn't mute um but yeah i thought because it's a morning and it's kind of murky outside <laughs> murkwood that's not why <laughs> but i just thought it would be nice to actually put something that less rainy on for ambiance and then we're gonna try and concentrate for 45 minutes so let's see how that goes um i cannot see you know what doing makeup without your glasses which you can do makeup without with your glasses so that's the only choice we have <laughs> let you know how I get on with it. However, I'm, I'm not loving it, but I am enjoying it. I mean, I'm just at the start. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's the update. I just wanted to say hello. Hello, um, you know, I'm feeling so sluggish today. You know when like gravity is different? I am there today, I hope you know. You know when you're just like, me and ground must be one? That's where I'm at today. What I'm gonna do now with you though is I'm going to open all of these. There's actually a fourth one. <laughs> so um, I actually got some comments asking, have you stopped? Why have you stopped doing fairy loot unboxings? I haven't. I'm just very far behind. <laughs> I had a lot of boxes stacked up in general, and I main mostly now caught up with. Uh, book box club whole <laughs> crate. I still have two there to film. Maybe after this. I don't know, not in the vlog, but maybe just I'll film it. I am a YouTube rep for those, so I prioritize that because obviously this, uh, the company sends this to me to open and tell you my honest opinions, whilst I am not a rep for Fairyloot because I my day job is with Fairyloot, so I more so show you what's inside rather than review it. Um, and it just so happened that it just like time just went by and then all of these came and then suddenly I'm here with four boxes. I don't know. But I thought it's about time to catch up. That being said, if you're not interested in this, I chapter my vlogs now. So there's going to be time chunks. Um, you can skip each Fairloot unboxing. And because there's four of the boxes, I will try and keep it really brief so we're not here for forever i'm sorry if you guys really like super detailed ones it'll be like you know once i'm caught up we can get we get back to the normal programming <laughs> but i think at this point we're gonna try and keep it brief i'll show you the item i'll tell you which item is my personal favorite um so there's the april box the theme was um memories we have the spoilers on the other side this is the card from tara who is the illustrator for fair loot theme cards and it, they're always so beautiful in my opinion. Then the first item is a Daughter of Smoke and Bone inspired washi tape foiling on it. So there's that. Uh, we also have a matching bookmark that comes in every box matching the theme art. We have a tote bag. Um, this one is inspired by the Throne of Glass. It says Court of Terrasen. I'm still stuck on the third book. Let's not focus on that. I don't know if I'll ever read that series. But I love this tote bag. Um, it's a very sturdy material. It has this quote on the back. And it has this beautiful kind of like nature. Um, roses, thorns, a sword kind of vibe. By Fantastical Feminism on Instagram. Pin banner that has this, it's like a silver foil. Oh, I love it. So this is inspired by uh, The Beautiful by Renee Adier and it is designed by Best and Pages. So we have this lion. Next up is volume three, I think, uh, of The Secret Books, which is something Fairloot includes roughly around twice per year. It has a little magnetic clasp here um beautiful design again by nova uh she designs all of the secret books this one's 
as you can see it's more purple with golden details and then you have her illustrations on the inside with some quotes um, from some amazing YA fantasy books. The next item is in this brown envelope um, and we have the memory vial pin. It is it is designed by um, That's Lovely Deer Shop and it has this golden beautiful hard enamel pin. Some sticky notes with reactions for those who tab or for those who don't tab to try and tabbing. My favorite one is the shit emoji. <laughs> I just I just find it so amusing. I, I don't know like just that alone Makes me want to use this. We have April's two tarot cards. We have uh, Five of cups and six of cups. This is Manon. I know for shizzle character. I cannot remember I guess it's from Throne of Glass, but um, they're beautiful and they're done by Gabriella Bugiso and then the April's book was incendiary Fancy. You have some of the UV spot treatment on the book. You have very vivid red pages that are sprayed so I don't have to paint them. Kind of a shame. <laughs> um, then you have the signature of the author inside and of course art underneath the dust jacket this time by Tara. That's the art. Really beautiful. I actually like it when they have the art on like um, just in the central space. Oh, Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the crown. Um, she is a memory thief and now she is one of the whispers, a rebel spy working against the crown. But returning to the palace, there's memories locked, uh, long locked away and she uncovers secrets that could change the fate of the entire kingdom. Um, so it's like a, a spy, a royal spy. Um, very few last things. We have the character art done by Tara um, and the Dear Reader author, uh, Dear Reader author, Dear Reader letter from the author and we have the fairy scoop showing your usual edition and the fairy loot exclusive cover and the next theme which is Desert Dreams but we don't have to read about it because we're about to open it. I think my favorite, ugh, there's actually quite a lot of favorite things in here. I really love the pen. Um, but I also really love the tote bag because I use these all the time. Moving on to, oh, look what's this, Desert Dream. Here's the theme art. So beautiful, I like these colors a lot. So, an item that I was so excited to get is this tin. Uh, you can obviously use it for tea, even if it's not loose tea, just tea bags. Cool. Also cookies, very much a snack of choice for a lot of people for reading. But look at that beautiful design. This is done by Chatty Nora. I absolutely love her designs. Um, look how intricate all of the details. Um, it's actually about from the book that I have not yet read, but I really want to. That's what it looks like here. And then once you open it, there's a little... Ah! <laughs> I am so happy to finally have this in my hand. Um, but yeah, it is inspired by We Hunt the Flame and the quote at the front it says, We hunt the flame, the light and the darkness, the good this world deserves. So this is a wooden spoon as you would use in your kitchen. I've seen a lot of, I've seen actually a couple of boxes where people are afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to use it. It's such a beautiful design done by KDP Letters. Um, if it would please focus. And on the actual spoon, it says, there's no such thing as just a story. The quote is from Hero of the Fall by Alwell, uh, Alwyn Hamilton. Next up, we have some bath salts. So there, these are just called Magic Desert Sand. Triple blend luxury bath salts, relaxing and soothing. And this, the, the scent is sandalwood. So you have quite a lot of that if you if you like reading in the bath or just relaxing in the bath or if you don't have a bath, foot soaks. The two tarot cards that came in this box are three and four of cups, again from Throne of Glass. Um, you probably guys know which these characters are way better than I do. A little candle. Uh, this one's called the Tribal Desert, which is from... Um, a member in the Ashes series, and it's by Wick and Fable. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, oh my god. Next item is a glasses pouch. If you need one that's quite lightweight and also bookish, 
to beat. <laughs> this one says, you can choose what happens to you, but you can, oh, you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it. And it, this is from The Forbidden Wish, which I think is a really, it's a good quote to live by and remind yourself. And then we also have Tea Towel, um, which also could be a tapestry, depends on what you want to do with it. Um, and this one is inspired by City of Brass. <laughs> Often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings. And then to the book, Girl, Serpent, Thorn, which really matches what I'm wearing. Um, signed by the author, again, um, has these beautiful kind of like mint sprayed edges. So this is following the princess who is actually poisonous to the touch, so she cannot touch anyone. So she kind of lives hidden away from everyone. So Soraya thought she knew her place in the world, but when her uh, choices lead to consequences she never imagined, she begins to question who she is and who she is becoming, human or demon. I know that Jade has already read it and actually really enjoyed it, so that's promising. I really, really love the cover, even though it does have the YA snake on it. <laughs> um, I think it's just really pretty and the colors are really nice. Almost forgot. This is the beautiful art. Um, and the artist is... Um, Orukai. Very, very pretty. Very World of Warcraft vibes for me. Um, and another take on the characters is uh, Murwild. So pretty. There's also an author letter and again the little bookmark to match the theme. And the next month's theme is a different kind of magic. Shall we? <laughs> but if I had to pick one item out of these, I think I would go for the tin. It's just so cool and it's just oh, so vivid i just love it love it different kind of magic um so we have these beautiful people on the cover um well the theme art with this leopard wolf first item and the brown baggie is the starless sea iron on patch and it actually has golden thread in it i don't know how well you'll be able to see but just trust me it has golden thread it's so beautiful is a pen and this one is inspired by shadows between us which i again actually read which is nice it says love is an excellent motivator to kill um just like this oh sorry the patch is um designed by dustin pages and the pin is designed by jess hogg the next item is actually an elemental coaster set which is inspired by avatar the last airbender which i am obsessed with if I don't know if you know, it depends how new you are to my channel. Um, and they're actually in a hexagon shape, which I thought was really, really fun. And you have fire, you have earth, these are designed by Nolver and Tail. Um, you have water and you have air. I love elemental magic and I love, love, love Avatar. So this item hits it for me. Then we have the Bone Season inspired ankle socks. A kind of artwork to match the cover, the first one. Um, and like I think the sundial on the back here. And this box actually has two books. So the first book is this beautiful um, paperback of the Gilded Ones. And it has, oh, it's so foiled. <laughs> and it has these beautiful green edges. Um, this is not an arc, however, this is before it's time. I think it's only going to be released spring 2021. So yeah. Uh, on the back it says, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? Well, will they? I don't know. There's more items though. <laughs> there is this Alice in Wonderland inspired tea strainer, which actually <laughs> comes with its own little plate, which I think is adorable. So there's a little plate and a little teapot and the teapot actually has a little tag on it that if you look closely to it It says drink me because you know Alice in Wonderland so ah. Then we also have an art print by um, Saltese these two characters from Blood Air and then the hardcover book of the month of June is The Forest of Souls. The book is, of course, signed by the author and has the artwork underneath the jacket, also a spider, a foiled spider underneath the jacket. And the artwork here, ooh, so pretty. And this is, the artwork is done by Ars, that's A-R-Z 28 on Instagram. 
I have no family, no home, no talent other than fighting. If I'm not if I'm not to be the shadow, then I am nothing. I am tired of being nothing. So this book has shamans, which really, really makes me want to read it. She is summoned to the domain of the Spider King. So this is not great for arachnophobes, <laughs> but I'm not one of them, so hey. Of course, we have the bookmark to match the, the theme. We have the print, also done by ours, and the reader letter. And the next theme is residual royals. Uh, obviously, it's always a win-win. The, the boxes come with two books, so that's always great. If I had to pick my favorite, I, again, if I had to pick my favorite item without the books, I really love this patch. Like, I really love the patch. I suck at picking one. I don't know why I make it. Like, it's not like someone's making me do this other than myself. The last one, June's, no, sorry, July's box. Resilient Royals. So we have this pair of royals just chilling on the throne. Our magnetic bookmarks, but of animals, which to me makes it so much better than the characters, because it's cute. We have a we have a llama, we have a sloth, and we have a tiger. Um, these are inspired by Woven and Moonlight, and actually are illustrated by the author herself. Little card holder, you know, for your cards. <laughs> it has this beautiful design that is inspired and you know some sections for your cards and this is inspired by oh what's it called queen's rising by rebecca ross and it's by jess hawk next we have a little food tray for your reading snacks it says one should never save cake for later when it can be eaten now <laughs> which is uh where's that from uh, Winter by Marissa Meyer, um, and this design is done by Evie Bookish. Then the biggest item in this box is this beautiful pillowcase, and that, I'm sure you guys can tell what this is inspired by, it's Crescent City, and it has a different, slightly different design on the other side, but on the side that has a quote it says, through love all is possible and this is designed by Chatty Nova. Then we have a print um, and this is from uh, The Bear and the Nightingale. Really beautiful. And the two cards here are four of swords and three of swords which are from Dark Shade of Magic. So we have Holland and we also have Rye. Lastly our pouch items which is again the bookmark to match uh the artwork for the author letter which is on the other side which the artwork is done by fairy reverie fairy scoop showing the different versions of the book and the next theme is let the games begin but the book in question is shielded um really into the cover and it has black sprayed edges Signed by the author. This little embossing, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but on here. It sounds like this is a book about a second born heir to the throne, Jenna, who believes, she was, so she's the princess and she believes that her skills would be a really good aid in the battlefield, but her father is hesitant to let her do that. So instead, for her to be useful, he um, wants to marry her off to the neighboring royal family to kind of like, you know, have the connections. But on the way there, her carriage or caravan is ambushed, revealing a dangerous secret. I'm assuming she gone not get to fight. <laughs> I think my favorite item is actually the card holder. I think it's really nifty. It's super compact and I love that so I'm going to definitely transfer some of my most used cards in this and use it a lot yeah but that's everything now I am surrounded by stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which book out of these sounds the best to you if you have already maybe read some of these what items spoke to you the most um good good talk <laughs> Um, I'm going to clean up and then I don't know I'll see what my energy levels are and I really should continue reading So I might do that, but I might actually read like a comic or something I feel like giving something something lighter and have something to snack on. I need to eat something. So that's the plan We have a crime scene. I got this baby yesterday. We have a crime scene here Where's the culprit? You're the guilty boy. So I thought I'm gonna read Giant Days Volume 2, which the first one I've read 
many moons ago, but it's available on script, so I thought, you know, why not? Also, hello, welcome to Sunday. I'm wearing my bright yellow t-shirt to, like, feel happy. Giant is basically like a slice of life comic. Um, it's about the girls that move in into the university. Um, I honestly don't remember much from the first one, but I think that's gonna be fine since it's like a a very contemporary, again, slice of life life kind of thing. I'm, I'm, I reckon I'll be fine. Um, I remember fairly enjoying the first one, so let's see how this one goes. Okay, I have read this. Uh oh. So I don't know why it wasn't marked on my Goodreads, <laughs> but. I reckon we gotta go with the next one. I've not done any reading. Oh no, that's a lie. I'm lying. Uh, I've read the Giant Days number three, volume three. Uh, apparently, I've read the second one because I started reading it and I was like, I remember this. Um, don't know when because it's not marked on my Goodreads, but I've read it. It was actually pretty fun. At first, I was a bit worried because I was not really feeling it and I was a bit like, eh. Uh. Like, so every kind of issue has a different topic that it's kind of surrounding. And it kind of follows like a different person but there is an op like a consistent story it's like it does match up it was really fun i think i don't i don't quite know what to rate it it's either three or four stars it was very chill and i'll definitely continue with the rest of them um it's such a it's a very good palette cleanser i think um i really enjoyed it it's quite humorous as well it's not too cringy as contemporary stuff goes especially because they're like you know university age this is set in the uk and i really like the playful kind of style and it deals with like just relationships sex just overworking um but also just like friendship which is really nice it's quite nice fairly realistic super supportive friendship as well so that's quite nice i really enjoyed myself reading that look at look at zeus he demanded he demanded the cover here didn't you you did. Other than that, today was the whole day of cooking, as you probably have seen. I've made this bake, baked oats in the morning. Looked nicer than it tasted, <laughs> I think. It's not bad, but it's not great. I probably would prefer normal oats, and I think next time I'm just going to... I already kind of changed the recipe a bit because I didn't have everything, but in the future, if I'm making this gooey one again, because it's not like granola, you're not, it's not granola bars. Uh, it's more like gooey porridge, you know, baked porridge, but I'll change it quite a bit, I think. So that was like, okay. But then I was pre-cooking uh, a meal for myself tomorrow as well, but also cooking a lunch dinner. I don't know, today's hours are all weird, um, which was a chicken casserole and that was so good. I really, really like that. Oh, we were talking in the comments of last post a lot about tips and tricks and how other people paint their edges. Um, 
So a lot of people mentioned that like small or like normal <laughs> spray <laughs> spray cans work very well um, but, but obviously you have to like you can't really protect it indoors like you will spray your stuff and also you're not really supposed to sit in the fumes so this is definitely an activity or a try um, in an outside space which I don't have access to so I cannot do that but I can definitely see that being much easier and much like more consistent because obviously sprayed edges are sprayed edges I am painting the edges <laughs> they're painted edges um, and it's uh, obviously gonna be an even layer and I think it's probably nicer when you separate it as well um, so if you have an outside space spraying literally spraying the edges might be a good idea someone said that they actually use it to color in with markers. Um, I forgot to ask what kind of markers because all the markers that I have would bleed into the page and it would look atrocious or it wouldn't bleed into the page but like you could tell that there are strikes like you know the, there would be lines on the edges so that would not look good either. <laughs> so I'm not sure what sort of pens that person uses but that's an idea and then definitely would have no fluff but i quite like painting mine um and another really interesting advice was to separate the pages after painting them to avoid the fluffiness so you paint it and you don't wait for it to dry and then you like flick through it and then you put it back under the weight and then you, which sounded interesting and i then i replied to them asking if, if that would um you know make the colors uneven because obviously when you're flicking through like you're touching the color um, they said they thought that it would, but it didn't, so I might try that on a book that I'm not afraid to ruin because I'm not sure how that works. Um, but I do also really enjoy separating the pages, so I'm not quite sure. However, for the uh, pages that we do have and they do have love, there were so many comments saying um, I should take a slightly damp cloth and like lightly rub it and it should like get rid of that for most of it. So I'm going to try that now. I'm going to try on this because this one has quite visible fluff. You see that? There we go. Some of the color might come off obviously. This is good. Okay. I don't know though if that's just the pages getting slightly damp though so it's... <laughs> I'll wait for this to dry. You guys are geniuses. <laughs> Pretty much all of it disappeared. But I don't know. Again, I want to kind of wait for it to dry because I can kind of still see it, so I'm wondering if this is just it being damper, but I think it helped. I'm gonna go with the rest of a quart of whatever whatever, I think, and just paint all of them. Oh my god, I just pulled them off the shelf and look! Oh no, I forgot! But that for sure I can just pull out, but like also... So I decided to go and paint the the set silver because I really don't want to do red, green, and blue. It's just I don't want it. <laughs> um, and they have they all have like silver kind of thorns going through the cover. So I decided to go and paint this silver. And I'm considering now you can't really see in the slide, but I am considering. Well. The table is just, the table is just like directly on my head. Why? Why is this a situation you're in? Because you didn't want to go down. Uh, so spoiled. Considering drawing some 
rose thorns because that should be pretty easy should be being the main word and this is a nice gold oh god actually looks quite nice in the light so i'm going to maybe draw that now and continue listening to the audiobook <gasps> started hiccuping worst time though because i'm just about to paint the edges starting chapter 13 which is good <laughs> Which is going to be a uh, first chapter in part two. I'm not too into it sadly like it's not It's not bad when I'm reading it But it doesn't it's not something that I want to get back to and like pulls me like it's something that I Might go on TikTok and like spend my time there rather than Read or listen to this. I actually think I prefer listening to this because it is a pretty descriptive text and I don't and I think that's one of the reasons why I can't like get into it too much because I like my text to be broken down into more of a dialogue. Like not to say that this doesn't have that. To me, it feels more on like uh, this convoluted kind of like descriptive side. But I think the main thing is that I just predicted everything very, very early on. And then um, that's kind of like dampening my intrigue, I guess. But <laughs> we occasionally have these little chapters of like, deities or demons or something like that talking and those I really like like I almost wish that we had a POV from one of these I mean it's okay it's like very kind of steady three star going but I'm only starting part two so it still can't go well we just started doing something more exciting like I think there was a little bit too much at the beginning of this book because I'm still like over 100 page pages, I reckon. Um, and we just focus on the fact that she doesn't that she doesn't have magic and how much she wants to have magic so often, which I understand is the whole point, but like it's so much. Like 100 pages in, like girl, I get it, I get it, I get it, I really get it. <laughs> My favorite character so far is the father and the grandmother. Uh, a certain lack of either of those currently for many pages. So I think that's another part of why it's kind of like, eh, it's all right and I'm gonna keep listening. And I'm, I'm also a little bit confused at some points. And I don't know if it's me or if it wasn't explained all that well to begin with. So yeah, we'll see. But for the books, I want to, I decided to go ahead and try and do a, a couple of vines um, but I want them to like kind of continue so this is the first, second and third book Well, that's how they look at the moment, but we'll see how it actually looks once I um, separate the pages. I've read a little bit more, I read 40 pages, so made some good progress of um, the City of Souls, which by the way I painted this mixed uh, golden with some copper, which I'll show you in a photo here how it looks like. Um, very happy with my color matching, but... Um, okay, the plug has thickened. It is a thick boy currently. Um, I'm actually really into it now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. A lot of things went down. A lot of things happened. I think uh, I really needed that plot to start, you know, um, to become quite, like, faster. And yeah, it was a slow start. It definitely took me about 100 pages, if maybe more. 150 actually to get into it. I was reading I was reading this physically now So this might have actually help as well. I'm not sure but I'm just I'm just I'm feeling it I'm so I'm not gonna question it <laughs> That being said it is now almost midnight. So I'm going to go to bed and Hopefully wake up tomorrow and have a good day But thank you guys so much again for watching this and hanging out with me. Let me know how your week has gone um, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!